those of us in worship ministry, though we are always around people and we lead people, we take a lot of time to practice and rehearse and go over those things. We get there early and we leave late. And so getting the time to get away and have a few days with other worshipers that understand one another with a desire to just equip us to go back out to our home churches is such a, a uniting thing. Worship is your prayer set to music. You know, anything we do in response to God loving us is an act of worship. You know, Jesus is looking for those who worship in spirit and truth, and, and God's Word also says that God is spirit. It's a physical act, but a spiritual connection. The way that we live, it's part of who we are. As a matter of fact, it's the main part of who we are. It's much bigger than the 30 minutes of music we do at church, but the 30 minutes of music we do at church is much more than entertainment. The song is just a vehicle by which we can get near the presence of God. It's interesting that we worship in song uh, because in song we're singing and we're lifting our hands and, and we're spending time in God's presence. So we're all worshipers. Everybody's worshiping someone or something. It's just, it's who you worship that's important. Begin to sing God's praises together in a congregation, in the house of God. Our voices are joining with heaven's voices. It's what we're going to be doing eternally. So we see in heaven, the believers gathered around the throne of God, just hands raised, singing to the Lord, kneeling down, falling on their faces, and there'll be nothing stopping us from giving Him all the praise, honor, and glory that He deserves.